what's up my forgiving fox grapes this is rob from a gay guy plays and today we're back with another installment of the stance spotlight now i know that he did say i'd be switching things up fairly soon however today hasn't quite gone as expected it's about 4 30 p.m and i still haven't eaten i did stream a little bit earlier today and i did just get back from the gym so uh if i'm looking a little nasty i do have to apologize however while i was there i did get this sweet message over on twitter that said and I was gonna try to pronounce the name, but I don't know how to say that. But you see, thanks to you, I've put the effort to go through my melee stances and refound my love for the Reaper Prime. It's even better now, and I don't have a ribbon, so thanks. Now, that brings all of the warmth into my dead little heart and makes me very, very curious as to what's going on with Scythes. I've been wanting to play Test Scythes for a while and see exactly how we feel. And then, of course, I did get that new Kuva hammer, um, so I figured we should go ahead and take a look at Scythes and hammers today. So, without ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, me, I was actually a very big fan of scythes for their movesets for a while, and there were a couple decent scythes in there, so part of me was like, all right, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so, we're going to start things off with Reaping Spiral. As you can see, we have a standing, a forward, and then we have a block forward as well. So, we're going to go ahead and check that out, and as usual, we'll start off bare. Um, I was going to say bare back, but unfortunately, we're not talking about Cyandana's today. So here is the standing ooh, combo for it. Oh, that's the one I like. I like it. And you got that. That's got to be a lift, right? Well, that that there's, there's got to be if there's not a lift somewhere in there, I will be shocked. I will be shocked. Let's go ahead and do the moving forward combo. It's a little weird on that first one. It's kind of like you're swatting at a fly. You're trying to swat at a fly midair, and you're kind of missing them. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and then let's go ahead and do the block forward. Ooh. Oh, this is the one I like. It's the one where you, you literally, I believe you kick the scythe. I think you impale the scythe onto the ground, right? And then you kick it into... Okay, I'm excited for this one. I want to see exactly where all of this lands. Now let's go ahead and pull up a Billy real quick. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and knock him down real fast. Uh, boop! Oh, no, no, boop! Ground finisher. Alright, ground finisher looks like it has a forced slash, potentially. Uh, by the way, we are using the Anku, and it's got like a 10%, um, status chance. It does seem like it's a forced slash proc on the ground. That seems to be a consistent thing. I think DE is really kind of pushing finishers, maybe. Um, or ground finishers at the very least, because I don't believe that all ground finishers had a force slash before, did they? I don't know, let me know. Anyway, there is the um, charge attack, and there is a slash proc in there. All of these, um, like, force procs on the heavy attacks are really making me want to try out, like, a full-on just charge attack build. You know what I mean? Because if we can just keep applying slash proc upon slash proc upon slash proc, I'm kind of like, hey, this might be kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and try the standing combo. Okay. I'm going to say right now, that feels like the most juggly of all of the juggles that we've actually had. That feels like almost like a genuine juggle, right? And it looks like that actually has a forced slash proc on it as well. It might be the second hit. I'm just going to hit it. Whoa, so that is actually a two. I only hit the button once. So it looks like the first one launches them into the air, and then the second actually does a forced slash proc. Um, so I'm already happy about that. This is already feeling kind of good. I could see, I could see why they were very, very happy, um, with this. So I kind of, I feel like, oh wait, I'm, that's the forward. That's the forward. I'm sorry. I was fucking it up. So again, lift, there's a slash proc in there. I want to see if maybe it looks like, oh, uh, that's probably just me hitting it a couple times. I'm going to say it's, uh, that's a good stance. Now the moving forward is a little dull. It does seem to have an impact proc somewhere in there um, to kind of help with a stagger. Now, people have been saying that if you stagger an enemy enough, it'll open them up to finishers. I, because, okay, they were saying in a previous video that, like, oh, it's now if you stagger them enough, you'll open them up to finishers. I'm like, I don't think that that's really what it is. I think that there are specific key moves that will open enemies up to finishers. It's just that it's not showing up on my screen, as you know, the little bar, because people have said that when, oh, you can, 
you can use the different it's a because it's a different key press now it's a different key press for finishers um and it and they're like yeah you just, you just it activates on your screen i was like i haven't seen it all right let's do the block one oh, it's so good it's so good that's got to be a force block now let's see it's about that's about like a nine meter that's like about a nine Okay, there's definitely a four slash block in there, but I'm going to take about... By the way, somebody else also suggested that I do um, that I do the marking an enemy to see how far away the gap closer gets. And I want to say thank you for that. I definitely listen to you guys' uh, feedback, except for magnetic melee. I'm really not about to do magnetic melee, sorry. I appreciate it, but uh, I'm going to say no. So all in all, this feels pretty solid. The only one that I don't really like... Uh, from Reaping Spiral is legitimately the forward, just the forward and melee. That one seems a little bit kind of like blah to me, but legitimately the rest of the moveset pr seems pretty so solid. There's only two other combos in the moveset, so I can't really be all that excited. But this one is also very, very similar. It looks like we've got a standing um, forward, and then we also have a block forward. So let's go ahead and check that out, barebacked. Um... And see how that feels because this that was already my favorite so this one stock it feels a little that's not me moving forward that's just the combos forward momentum like i like that move oh i don't know how i feel about that i feel like maybe with like um uh attack speed that could feel better but i feel a little drunken do you know what i do you know what i mean like, it feels a little wobbly. Okay, this feels better. This feels better. It's very basic, but this has more of a flow to it. Now let's do the block forward. Oh, I like that gap closer. This is the fun one. This is the spinny one. Okay, if you like your spin to wins, stalking fan is going to be the one for you. I like, I like the forward momentum, but that very first, just a standing one, does not seem that great. It seems a little... Hop, skip, and a jumpy, and then drunk man at the end. It's like how I get when I'm drunk. It's a little... You know, I'm seeing impact. I wonder if it's forced. There's a forced, uh... There's a forced down. Let's see if we can get that forced impact again. Actually, let's, let's mark them real quick and see how far away that little leap takes us. So that was a good, like, five meters. It does look like there's a forced impact, and there does seem to be a forced knockdown. Let's see if I can... There you go. That's what I was trying to do. Knock down into a ground finisher. Yeah, I don't... Mm, I don't like the standing on there. That feels a little clunky to me, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but if we can knock him down and not jump all over the place, maybe we could get a ground finisher off. We can't. We're too drunk. It, it's, it's too much. We've been drinking too much. It just doesn't work. Um, all right, so let's go in. There seems to be a forced... It, there seems to have been a forced impact. Am I crazy? It's a lot of staggering that's going on. Yep, it looks like it's definitely a forced impact. There's no down or anything. Oh, that's kind of sad. All right, let's do the forward block. Okay, let's see how far away we were. So let's go... Let's say it's maybe like a... It's like maybe like a... 10 meter gap closer. Are we getting any? It looks like there's some four slash box. Okay. Okay. Definitely some four slash box on the spinning. I think that that's the best combo of the bunch for this. Uh, but at the end of the day, I personally feel that stocking fan isn't as great. But I think that's the same. Like I feel like that's the same um, uh, way that I felt before. I felt like Reaping Spire was always going to be the winner. Reaping Spiral was always going to be the winner for me. So I'm going to take Reaping Spiral. That's the winner of today when it comes down to the Scythes. Really excited to use Scythes again because they did get a nice little buff with Reaper Prime. A lot of them got some uh, really good buffs. So if you guys have been playing with Scythes, let me know how you feel about them. Now let's go ahead and get into the hammers. Um, I'm going to bring out the uh, Fragor. And yes, I put the weird skin on this. I just want to show this off. This is from the Volt Proto skin. It's just weird, but we're going to use it because it looks kind of like, like one of those electric fly swatters. I don't know if that was the thought process behind it, 
But that's my thought process behind it. So let's go ahead and start things off with Shattering Storm. Now this one has the full plethora. We've got standing, we've got uh, block standing, we've got forward, and then we've got block forward. So let's go ahead and give this a shot on its own. Um, I believe this is the one that I enjoy potentially, I'm not sure. So here's a standing. Nice overhead, ooh, a little backhanded action, a little two-handed smash action. Okay, that's, we've got a ground smash on there. No, this isn't the one that I like. I can tell already. This isn't the one that I like, but, like, it's it's decent. It feels slow, but then all hammers tend to feel slow. So let's go ahead and do just the block stand. Oh, that's got to be a lift. That's got to be... I like that. That was kind of cute. It was cute. It was simple. But wait, but here's the thing that I will put out there. Wait, hold on. So, I'm going to try to move after this. So you notice that... Gr you you notice that? Okay, so when I do this, I'm trying, like, literally the second I hit the ground, I'm pressing the forward button. Just so that you are aware. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Let's go back. See, look, I'm trying to stop the animations and the animations. I mean, you can roll out of them, I'm sure. But hold on, let's try let's try rolling out of it. Because this is what I've been having issues with with hammers. I feel like some of their animations definitely... Oh, oh, shit. That's not what I'm trying to do. Definitely lock you in. And I'm not into it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do the... Just the melee block. Okay, right. Okay, so you can roll out of it. But you can't move out of it. So keep that in mind. Is this one. So literally, I'm going to block an E. Now I'm that there's the there's the dodge roll so there's a dodge roll right here but you can't actually like move like use your keys to get out of it aside from that block so just keep that in mind again I'm trying to move forward and I can't move forward that's that's the locking issue that I've had so for those of you guys who are worried about that you can always try to roll out of it me personally I feel like that feels a little bit clunky. Um, you'll see it in the next, not the next combo, but the next combo card that we have. So let's do the forward E. Feels, this feels fine. That's got to be a lift. That last one, that's a lift. All right. Now let's go ahead and try the uh, block forward. The block forward's a little dash. A little spin. A little smash, a little ground smash. Okay. feel like that's pretty respectable. Let's go ahead and try this out with a Billy and see how this all fares. All right. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I'm not a super big fan of some of the combos on the hammers really, really locking you down. So we're just going to do the standing. Looks like it's got some impact built in. Is that? That's not a forced slash, is it? Is that a forced slash? Hold on. No, it's not a force slash. By the way, we're using the frag where I think it's got like 10%. There's there's some forced impacts in there. There's some forced impacts in there, but there's not like a force uh force uh slash. So let's go ahead and try. That very first hit is like almost like just always a stagger. There's the lift! And now we can kind of bat him around. I know it's stupid, but I, I find it funny. No, it's that that, that wasn't a force impact. That's just how it is. There it is. I, I, some of these juggles don't feel terrible. Okay, this is this is the land where the juggles are actually kind of good. So let's do block standing now. There's the lift. That one feels kind of feels bad. Cause you knock them away, and you gotta roll after them cause you're trapped. Cause you're trapped in. Cause you're trapped in the stupid ground pound animation oh there they are i was like where did they go oh all right so let's do the moving forward so yeah there's there's definitely there's definitely the lift there but was that a force slash nope there wasn't i don't know maybe it was a force slash I don't see it. It's still not on him. Let's go ahead and grab another one and finish this combo uh, session off real quick. One more time. Uh, so again, this is the moving forward. I'm trying to look for... Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like there's a force slash on there. 
I mean, it's a hammer, so technically, really, when are you gonna get a force slash? Like, just by the by the um, weapon's nature, you're not gonna get that. Here's a little dash. Okay, that's. I, no, I was gonna say that's the first downing that we've had of that, but I don't actually feel that. <gasps> I'm a fucking genius. I'm a. F Why? Who in the comment section? Why have you not reminded me that I could do that? Let's mark the distance on this. It's about 10 meters. No, that's. Let's see at about. The gap closer on this is really. So that was about 7 meters. That was like a, a 7 meter dash. Yeah, 7 meters is about is about the, the range that you can get on it. Okay. And it does have a stagger. It doesn't say that it's impacting, but that is like a little stagger. There's the down. I didn't do uh, the ground finishers to see if the ground finishers were going to give uh, any kind of effect, but it doesn't seem like there is. Um, Alright, let's do that now real quick. Well, I mean, I guess we're here, right? Okay. Oh, shoot, shoot. Listen, I'm going to reposition you. Like a smart Loki, not like the dumb Loki I was earlier. There you go. Ground pound? Nope, nothing. Okay. Heavy attack? I mean, the heavy attack has a lift to it. Okay, the heavy attack has a lift to it. It's very baseball-esque. Um, so that's a couple things that make this different. All in all, this is not my favorite of the two so far. I have been playing with hammers a little bit, so I do have to kind of confess that I already kind of know what we're walking into. Um, but let's go ahead and use this. Yep, 10%. 10% on the status chance. The one that I've been finding, um, great is Crushing Ruin. This one, again, has the whole shebang. Um, Winding Temper is the one that's been giving me the most problems, though. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. See, I know, I knew there's a reason I bring Loki. So here, this feels good. That feels good to me. I, this is just the normal standing. Of course, it's got some forward momentum to it. You can still kind of control it. It's not the worst in the world. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the block forward. That's the, so you see how that one, and now I'm trying to move forward. That's what's been holding me in place. Like I can't get out of it like i almost feel like wait oops that's the block forward hold on hold on hold on so that the this just this block one it's really really cool it's good to kind of get multi hits on a single enemy but you really have to be careful about only hitting it once and then you can roll out of it because that's where i've been feeling a little bit trapped um now let's go ahead and do the forward this is fine it looks like it's a weird one where you just smack him upside the head and you stop real quick. Boop, right there. <laughs> um, maybe there might be a lift at the very, very end of that. I'm not 100% sure. Now let's do the block forward. This is my favorite. This is, this is the one. We know it. We know that this is the one. Everybody who's used hammers before, this, this is that bitch. This is that bitch. This is that, and this is just what I do the whole time when I use hammers. Because this makes me feel good inside. Uh, just remember, it's your block forward. So let's go ahead and try this out. Um, see how this feels on a belle. All right, so let's jump on over here. We got to check for lifts because it seems like that first one was very lift heavy in the hammer world. Nope, that one's a knockdown. I prefer the knockdowns to a lift. I wonder if they would be willing to classify a downed enemy as a status effect. Because that would be great for condition overload as well. So nothing special with that. Let's try the block forward. That one's definitely not. Wait, is that a force? Slash block. Oh. Nope, nope, not a force slash block. Just a lucky slash block. Um, is that a forced impact though? Yeah, it is a forced impact. There's definitely a forced impact on that. Um, also keep in mind, I didn't do that second one. It was just because the key press was queued up. It's kind of like a, uh, like, um, it's kind of like a symptom of the new system that they've got in play where it kind of records your key presses and it'll end up using it. Now let's move, use the move forward. There's the lift. I knew that there was a lift. Is it the, the smack you upside your head one? Wait, hold on. And is that a forced slash proc? Hold on. I think it is the slap you upside the head one. Is he is he coming off with the slash right? No, that was just a lucky slash pop. Bam! Right there, that was the smack you upside your head one. Oh. Well, there he goes. 
I guess I guess all good things have to come to an end, right? So let's go ahead and kill that guy. Let's jump back in here. And I'm looking at the clock again, and yes, we have hit the 20 minute mark. I'm sorry, I know, especially to that person who was angry at me for not using magnetic melee. It's like, you would have made it had you just used magnetic melee, but you didn't because you're stubborn. And yes, I am very stubborn. All right, so we know the list on this one, and this is the classic. This is the classic. Oh, I love it. There's a force. There's a force down on there. But as you can see, you can just ballet his ass around and just kind of like get all of those in there. So good. There does seem to be a force impact prop on there. But for those of you guys who are wondering where this combo went, now you freaking know. And I'll do a little wind up, boop, and you get in there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so this is definitely going to be the winner for me when it comes down to hammers. And he's there. I thought he was going to be gone, but he's there. Um, so this is definitely going to be the winner for me when it comes to hammers. Again, not any crazy force slash procs, but at the end of the day, it is going to be crushing ruin for me. So it seems like the winners are Reaping Spiral and Crushing Ruin crushing ruin uh let me know if you guys agree down in the comments below i know some of you guys have been asking for tonfas uh is there anything else you guys are curious in seeing uh regardless leave all of your feelings down in the comments below i'm gonna go get some dinner uh i'm in that weird spot where i'm not really hungry but i haven't eaten all day so if i start getting lightheaded i'm about to get scared uh regardless that's gonna do it for me for now and as always love somebody Hurt nobody and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.